One, two, there, I'm on now. You're on now. <laughs> I was going to say, um, I was actually one of the first people who told you that your your spells were working immediately, like as soon as the phone call hangs up between me and you, that <laughs> I, I see movement immediate, you know what I mean? Or the next day immediately, because I notice small things like those, you know, like Well, that, you, cause so. you, you've always been spiritual, so you've always, um, you know... You've always noticed right away my spirits start even before I do. Um, it's funny the amount of jealousy that I have from other practitioners because I'm a powerful ass bitch. One in particular, Cornball, a dude that tried to come for a woman. But anyway, let me not go there. I'm a, I've been doing dark work, so my energy's really kind of nasty. But. I had a, right a, i was gonna say but yeah so no i only wanted to come back you come back to you for work again for the third time is because everything's always worked out really uh, well when you did a prosperity audience, i got when you, you did a prosperity spell for me that was the bomb too i was making like three thousand dollars on each one of my checks damn. at the airport when things were good before the covid you know yes yeah. girl. so and then the bracelet you just sent me uh oh yeah yeah the bracelet that you just sent i got the pink i got the pink um what is it called for the loved one the rose yeah as soon as i put it on and i wore it out like this guy ran by me and he was like i love you uh. <laughs> like okay and that was just really random to me but i was like shireen like i could just imagine you what what stuff you did over the bracelets and i'm like she's hilarious however she did it just like bring love from every direction wherever it comes from it's just coming that's the that's what i do i that's exactly what i do when i when i charge it i tell i charge it with the intention damn girl you need to change your battery from your your fire thing, your smoke detector. But um, so so tell everybody, is it worth the wait for them to allow me to charge their stuff properly, like their honey jars, their jewelry? Because some stuff, is there's a four to six uh, week wait because I'm charging it, I'm, I'm charging them. Unless I have oh, a stock and, and you know what? Right after I accepted the package and opened it up and put it on my, um, my rose quartz, bracelet and the heart necklace because i just wanted it just for show for decoration for the month of february mm -hmm. you know just because it was pretty pink but then immediately swear immediately my crush that didn't like talk to me for three weeks finally started messaging me on a regular daily basis hey, that's so even cute. though we weren't like we were only talking at work we weren't like talking outside of work and then like all of a sudden so it very much attracts love vibes you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Everyone feels them very much. I agree with that. That's so. what I'm talking about, girl. So, okay, so we did uh, binding. That worked uh, too well, actually, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> too well that we wanted to break it and send them away because yeah. it got annoying. That's why I tell people they have to be careful what they ask for. Exactly. You gotta it, be careful. People you, will, you'll just know. Mm -hmm. You'll just know as soon as he starts being there too much. Too, it's natural human, human chemistry, I think, like that. Once you get what you want, you kind of mm -hmm. want to move around, I guess. Obse I know, because people are always asking me for, like, bindings and obsessions. And I always tell them, be careful what you wish for. Because, it got dangerous, yeah, actually. Man, yeah, he, he like, oh, my God. Started girl. being stalkerish. Uh, yeah, to the point where it's a turn off. Yeah, when somebody wants you that more than you want them, it's a turn then off. it's a it's a turn off. So that's not even like yeah, that's not what it do. That's I was okay. gonna say yeah. So then the next one was somebody who's actually half my age. I'd rather you know <laughs> yeah. be with somebody who's half my age instead. But I think him. only because he's real quiet. He's not thirsty. You no. know, like a lot of men have experience and they're real thirsty, I think. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a really well, shy person. One? Now you got two of them. So the other one, the one I actually did the work on, the sec the other one I haven't yet. But um, the one that before that worked well, too, right? The one that. Right. I was going to say just because he's not thirsty, I think that that's more why I like somebody. And that's why I kind of needed your help, because he's kind of like a really quiet guy. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't attempt to try to get with me if I didn't kind of like, you know, kind of push things along. Yeah. And then, yeah. oh, what about the separation on that one bitch? Tell them the story about that. Remember the bitch from the beginning? 
with about with your the ex. separation between me and no not that one the girl remember the girl that went to jail when oh I okay yeah 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 oh, okay yeah oh yeah this girl threatened my mom and my dog and I didn't know what to do it was last winter and it didn't even have anything to do with Shireen but I was keeping her updated and letting her know that no not a, your neighbor the one oh, with the, the one that your that the one your ex kept she the when you that's what I meant oh, yeah 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 I know okay. yeah yeah remember she threatened my to drive her truck through my mom's bedroom oh yeah that's right I did and shoot my her. dog yes 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 but I yeah that already, was I was her. already gonna be working on her anyway for other reasons so tell them right what, tell them what happened to her <laughs> that he attacked her mm -hmm. and they started fighting really bad and she went to jail and... didn't she oh yeah, yeah yeah she did she did she did yep and that's that's the end of the story yeah she went to jail and she went bye-bye and she never came back never came back but that, that was that the bitch, end remember of she kept coming <laughs> back up until you got until you came to me because you had tried to get rid of her a few times and she just wouldn't go away and then very true and then i got rid of her and she went to prison for a long time and she hasn't been back since so that's i think that's about it we did so much stuff i can't even keep track at this point but i think we covered the most of it so, right thank you say, but yeah you're the reason why i no longer want to take my own life and that i have something to live for Happy. because coming out of a long-term abusive relationship like that sometimes you don't want to start over mm -hmm. But, yeah, yeah, just attracting those natural love vibes, it makes me feel like it's something about me. Because girls always ask, Shereen, is it really me that he loves? Or is it just the spell? Or is it going to wear off? Yeah. But I think it's gathering all those little things about yourself and putting them in a pot and making them as best so they can be and polish them up and present them. Exactly. You know? no, because I always feel like it's my best day. The days that I feel things manifesting, I am my best me that day. I'm in a really good mood. I'm in a good place. I'm not worried about finances. That's when things manifest, when I let all my worries go away. Exactly. Girl, good. Exactly. It She's is. like, do you want to go out and look for a house today? Or something like that. Which one? And the first one. This is what I want to tell you, Shane. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the recorder so we can get. Yeah, back so it can it just be me and you now? Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much for thank the you. testimonial. I love you, and I really appreciate you uh, no letting me problem. record it. I'm I gonna... will write. I will say it really good in a in one and send it to you. Okay. Oh uh, well, I, say, I got so. this. I'm gonna post it. This anyway. is the thing. I told Nino that I really wanted a baby, and I was like, "Can't you send some out since he's in county?" Uh, and guys